Ooh, mail. Hello? Hello, Neo. Do you know who this is? Uh, what? No. You may have spent the last few years looking for me, but I've spent my entire life looking for you. Did you, uh, find my profile on Grinder? Is that what this is about? I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice. So, this is about Grinder. Well, let me ask you this. Why didn't you just contact me on there instead of FedExing me a phone. Have you ever had a dream that you were so sure was real? Look, I'm not into all this existential crap, so, uh, well, I just have one thing to ask. Where did you get this phone? I mean, it's tiny. When you're inside, you feel it. I can see it in your eyes. Here we go. Okay, great. What a weird day. Seriously though, I'm pretty happy with that phone. I mean, it's cheap, it's tiny, and it works. Like, the sound quality isn't even that bad, all things considered. So, uh, yeah, if you want a tiny little phone to act as a backup or something, buy that. I got this phone from Banggood for $9.99 US. It retails now for $16.50, so I guess I got a good deal. Um, comes in this nice card phone box carrying case booklet thing. Uh, very simple operating instructions. The way of insert a SIM card, power on off, charging, blah, blah, blah. One thing that's kind of confusing, the diagram is not clear how to open this thing. Um, if you want to put in a SIM card or a SD card, it just splits open. The back just comes off. I had this line on it. I thought it split open a different way. But anyway, SIM card goes there and SD card goes there. Pretty simple. And this just snaps on. Now, that being said, it being so small and lightweight, it actually doesn't feel too bad quality-wise. Like, it doesn't feel overly cheap, even though it is really cheap. There's a little switch on the bottom to turn it on, which I like because I think that isolates the battery, so that this way you can leave it in storage, like in your car for a while, and uh, not worry about going dead. So this button turns it on, says welcome, plays a little tune and searches for network. I mean, this thing's pretty small, pretty light, and really damn cheap. I mean, at $10, and it freaking works. I mean, the sound quality really is good. I was shocked. I, I called my friend and was talking on it, asked him if he thought my voice sounded weird. He thought I was on my regular phone. I mean, and I called myself too, just to verify that, and it worked great. Now the display is tiny, I mean both physically and it doesn't have many pixels so there's not much room for information, but it has a battery display, signal strength indicator, uh, date and time, and you can go into the menu. It's got a phone book, call center which is like missed calls and all that crap, messaging which is just text messages, it doesn't have email or anything obviously. Uh, multimedia, it can play music which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't have the files in the right directory but it has a file manager and you can look in the memory card and look at all the... Uh, areas here. So I actually put mine in music. This is YouTube um, license free music, so I don't have to worry about getting a copyright violation, but it sounds like real crap coming out of this tiny speaker. Well, actually, for a $10 phone on a tiny little speaker, it doesn't sound like crap. You know what I mean? It doesn't sound good, but for the money, it sounds pretty good. And this can connect via Bluetooth to a headset so that you can actually listen to music through decent headphones. Uh, it also has an FM radio, interestingly. An organizer, which is just calendar alarm and calculator. Uh, settings are not that complex. Phone settings consist of time and date, language, some display settings. Uh, flight mode, it actually has an airplane mode, which is cool. Uh, profiles for different ring tones and loudnesses. Security settings where you can set like an unlock code, connectivity for Bluetooth and that sort of thing, and restore settings if you want to just change it all back to factory. Uh, services is a SIM toolkit, currently not available. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it doesn't do anything, and that's the only thing in there. Uh, more Bluetooth settings so you can actually pair and unpair, and back to phone book. So, not 
as crappy as you'd expect for the money. I mean, like, for $10, $10 for a cell phone that's actually usable. And I mean, it's not usable in your day-to-day -day life. I wouldn't walk around with this and no other phone, but this is a great little thing. For 10 bucks, you put a old shitty SIM card in it that's not activated, and you leave it in your car. You can always dial 911 with this thing. And let's say you do lose your cell phone and you need to make calls, you can always call 611, which is the phone company, and activate your SIM card. So at least for just a couple of bucks, then you can start making and receiving phone calls and text messages. I mean, text messaging is abysmal on this thing. If I go to my inbox, you can see there's barely enough room for phone numbers. And then each message is split up. You know, it's basically one line per screen. I mean, that's horrible. But if you're in a jam, if this is all you have, Again, for 10 bucks, this will fit in a purse, in a backpack, wherever, and you won't even notice it's in there. So, uh, just as like a backup emergency phone, this is pretty cool. Well, thanks for watching my tiny cell phone video. For more videos like this, or not at all like this, uh, subscribe to my channel, s.co.tt, and thanks for watching.